Hey guys, and happy Wednesday. Today is April 29th. This is for Math 2. And today we're going to talk about area of a sector. Okay? So first of all, just so you can know what a sector is, a sector is a piece of the area of a circle. So just like yesterday, arc length was a piece of the circumference. A sector is a piece of the area. So for arc length, that's like the crust of the pizza, and a piece of the crust of the pizza. And for a sector, it's like a slice of pizza. Okay? So let's go ahead and look at this here. So you'll notice this time it's all shaded in because I want to know the entire area of that piece, not just the outside part. So it looks very similar to what we did yesterday. It's just that instead of finding the circumference first, we're going to find the area first because I want a piece of the area. Okay, so I'm going to start by finding the area of the circle. Remember, area is pi r squared. So the radius here is 5, so I'm going to substitute that in for r. Okay, so 5 squared is 25, so the area in total is 25 pi. But I don't have the whole circle, I only have this piece. So I have to find out how much of the circle I have. So remember, I'm going to find my portion. Okay, so my portion of the circle is 42 degrees out of an entire 360, because the whole circle is 360. 42 degrees out of 360. I could try to simplify that now or I could simplify later, it's up to you. So to find out my area of my sector, I'm going to multiply my portion times my area. Okay. So remember when I multiply, I can just put over one here and in my calculator I can go 42 times 25, and then I can go divided by 360 times 1, which is just 360. So divided by 360. And that gave me, it's a decimal, so that's 2.9. If I am going to put a decimal, this is not a perfect answer, so if I am going to leave it as a decimal, make sure you use the approximate symbol. And then remember pi. So I was multiplying the pi out there. And then I need my units. So this is five centimeters. So that means my units are going to be centimeters, but it's area now. So it's centimeters squared. Okay. Now, if I wanted to leave it as a whole number and not make it into a decimal, I could also simplify. So 42 out of 360 actually simplifies. I could divide by six on the top and bottom. 42 divided by 6 is 7. 360 divided by 6 is 60. So I could also do 7 out of 60 times 25 pi. And then I could just multiply straight across. So 7 times 25 gives me 175 pi over 60. These are the same answer. Just one is written as a decimal and one is written as a fraction. Either one is fine. Okay. Let's look at one more just to be sure we're okay. So here's another sector we're going to find the area of. So I'm going to start by finding my entire area first, pi r squared. So my radius is 10 here, so I'll substitute that in, pi 10 squared. So 10 squared is 10 times 10, which is 100. So that's 100 pi for my area there. Okay, then I need to find out my portion. So how much of the circle I actually have. So I have 300 degrees here out of a total 360 degrees. And again, I could simplify or I could use it as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and simplify just to make it easier here. Um, so both of these, I could divide by 10. Notice that they both have a zero on the bottom, so I could divide by 10. And then also, you'll notice that three goes into both of them as well. Also six. So I'm gonna divide by six. That would give me five over six. Or you can leave it the way it is. Either way, you're gonna get the same answer. It's up to you, okay? So I'm gonna do, to find the area of this sector, I'm gonna multiply. I'll do it both ways. The portion 
times the area, or I could do this portion times the area. Doesn't matter, it's the same, okay? So again, over one, over one, multiply straight across. So I can either go five times 100 and then divide by six, or I could do 300 times 100 and divide by 360. Again, it's gonna give you the same thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this one. So five times 100 is 500 pi over six. And then I could divide that or I could simplify. I know that two goes into both of them. So I could divide by two on top and bottom. That would give me 250 pi over three. So that would be the most exact answer. If you just did decimal from the beginning, you could also do 300 times 100. Now, obviously, that's going to give you 30,000. And then you can divide that by 360. And then it's going to give you 83.3. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and make this the approximate symbol. So whichever way you do it, that's up to you. I prefer to use whole numbers if I can. Don't forget your pi. So I'm going to use this one. doesn't matter. And the units are feet. And again, it's area, so it's got to be feet squared. Okay? Or you can write it like this, too. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. If you have any other questions, feel free to let me know through Remind Google Classroom or email. Have a great day, guys.